future for the animals of the natural world has never been more in danger. The political animal lobby exists to be a voice for animals, and we will do everything within our power to fight for their future. Right now, we're hard at work to support the African pangolins, the most trafficked mammal on Earth. We can't share details yet, but keep an eye on your inbox in the coming weeks to learn more. Yet another species is on the brink because of decisions by authorities who seem not to care that their decisions threaten the survival of an endangered species. This time, it's toads. The Western leopard toad is an endangered species, which means that there aren't many of them left. Um, we only have the Western leopard toad in um, the Cape Peninsula and the Cape Agullis. So these three breeding ponds are vitally important. Even though residents don't want it, the city of Cape Town in South Africa plans to bulldoze a road right through one of the endangered Western leopard toad's last breeding ponds. Local organizations, toad nuts, and the Nordhuk Environmental Action Group, or NIAG, are now the toad's only hope for a future. If this pond goes, they're gone. Another creature on the way to extinction. And we are promised to help toad nuts, but we can only do this if our supporters help us. With your help, we're doing everything we can. In the fragmented wild areas of Cape Town, South Africa, as few as 50 caracals cling to survival. Caracals, secretive, nocturnal wildcats, are famous for their golden fur and long, elegant ears. They are exquisitely beautiful and desperately endangered. Caracals are nocturnal, and the area where they cling to their way of life is crisscrossed by poorly lit roads. Speeding and inattentive drivers have killed 83 in the past five years. Simply putting up road signs warning that caracals cross that particular road would make an enormous difference to their survival. The process to get the government to do this is painfully slow, and the Caracals simply do not have time. PAL is stepping in to ensure that there are effective warning signs while we work on a longer term plan. Just 5,000 rare Angolan black and white colobus monkeys remain in the entire country of Kenya. Naturally living in the treetops, they must now risk their lives crisscrossing dangerous roads to travel between the patches of forest that remain. Many try to cross the road by the overhead power lines, where they're often electrocuted to death. Luckily, there is a simple and effective solution. Colo bridges. Ladder-like structures that provide safe passage across roads have been tested and have shown to be effective by a local organization Colobus Conservation. With PAL's help, the remaining monkey populations will be provided with a network of bridges to keep them safe in their tree canopy sanctuaries. The PAL team returned to Addo Elephant National Park in South Africa for the installation of state-of-the-art solar-powered pumping equipment that our generous donors helped us purchase. The situation was dire when we arrived, with temperatures soaring and thousands of animals desperate for water. We turned on the tap and animals flocked from miles around for a share of the cool, clean water that will now run every day. Once again, thank you for your generous donations and your support in raising awareness of these issues. You make it possible for us to make a difference, supporting wildlife across the globe. <laughs>